week on Real Flicks and Popcorn Picks. Join our hosts, Dan and Amanda, as they dive deep into the 2016 The Legend of Tarzan. Ah! That's had a pretty good cast. We have Alexander Skarsgård, who got his break actually from Zoolander as one of the little male models, which not many people know. Mm -hmm. And of course, we all know him from True Blood. And we also have Miss Harley Quinn herself, Margot Robbie. Best character actor, in my opinion, is right now is Christopher Waltz. I mean, he was great in Inglorious Bastards. Amazing in this one as well. He always does like this really great evil villain. Like he's extremely intimidating when you watch him on set. And then of course you have Samuel Jackson. I mean, this cast just goes on. It was such a great cast. Yeah, I mean, you really did have a little bit of everything. There was something for everybody with this film. Right. My favorite thing might have been like the CGI. Talking about the fact that it was 2016. So even compared to like today's CGI, I think it kind of stands up. I mean, look, think about the lion. I actually had to take a double take and there were moments where I was like, was that lion actually real? Or was that CGI? So you can even see the saliva on their teeth. Mm -hmm. When they opened their mouth and Samuel L. Jackson's head was like right in his mouth. And you could see the saliva coming down their teeth. And think about when there was the scene where they were on the boat with Margot Robbie was on the boat and there were hippos in the water. When the hippos opened their mouth you, and turned their head, you could actually see the skin. Right, like, stretching oh. and moving. Yeah. Yeah. Just like a real, you know, yeah, they, they put in a lot of great work for this, the CGI in this. And like, I, like you said, from 2016, it looked amazing. Mm -hmm. There were so many other things too, Dan, that I really loved about this movie. I, I'll tell you, I had such an appreciation for the attention to detail with the costuming. Yes. You yeah. know, they were able to really take us to that time you know, when the film was set. I thought it was incredible. Which was interesting that they went from this wild man who, you know, grew up in the jungle and then 10 years later, they're making him this aristocrat wearing, you know, the, the proper clothing and the proper speech and, you know, proper from this wild boy that we call Tarzan. Mm -hmm. I mean, talking about Alexander Skarsgård, I mean, <laughs> hello. <laughs> I mean, listen. The amount of training he must have done to be able to be that ripped yeah. like Tarzan, I can't, I can't imagine how dedicated he must have been. He went on a diet of uh, lettuce and chicken breast, and that was about it, and whatever water he was drinking. And then in fact, after he had gotten done with the film, he went off the diet, like big time, like he lost it. Mm -hmm. And then about a month later, they called him back and said, we have some reshoots that we need to do. Can you go back on that diet? And he was like, listen, you could CGI these animals. <laughs> you could CGI this body. Yeah, just give me an eight pack. <laughs> <Right, exactly. laughs> put, put a little bit of shading. They can do that with makeup too, come right, on. <laughs> exactly. So going back to talking about Samuel L. Jackson, right. okay? I couldn't believe this, but I looked up some critic reviews and you know other people's opinions, and some people didn't like him in the movie. Probably because he wasn't dropping the F-bomb left and right. And I think that's what people have come to expect with his humor. But I think he had just enough humor in this one where he balanced out the, the scenes nicely. Yeah, I actually have to agree. His character was one of my favorite parts of the film. He offered a little bit of comedic relief too. Yeah. He, he, right. I mean, that line about the mangani nuts, <laughs> which is really funny. When he's standing underneath the gorilla yeah. and says, am I supposed to lick a um, certain area? <laughs> and then Tarzan says, <laughs> he's like, if you want to live or whatever, and then stops him. And he's like, you looked like you were going to do it. <laughs> I also, one more thing about Samuel L. Jackson that I loved was the, um, that he offered a little bit more of a character build. I loved when he talked about the story of being an Indian fighter, like his past right. of being the Indian fighter and his realization in that moment. And he admitted how horrible he did was. And you know, he was no better than the Belgians. Right, his character grew. Yeah. That was, yeah. It was a beautiful was moment, I thought. It was, it was. Mm -hmm. Speaking of beautiful moments too, we want to bring it back to the CGI. What was amazing was when Tarzan had to actually fight the you know the alpha male mm -hmm. that whole fight scene was just amazing you know talk about good cgi 
Just mm -hmm. the, just watching them swing at each other and, and the hits that they were taking and that that was that was great. But I did I did feel like as much as I really enjoyed the film and enjoyed the things that were happening. There were points where I was like, hmm, like about an hour into the film, I felt like, all right, maybe a little, drawn out. a little bit dragged out, a little bit drawn out. Maybe they should start to wrap it up and get to like our final crescendo scene. Two favorite scenes. I love the scene where Margot Robbie and Christopher Waltz were on the, the ship and he was trying to like, get her to cross over to his side. And she was like not having any of it. With the dinner. Yeah, like yeah. I, I don't know. I just feel like Margot Robbie played a strong Jane yeah. throughout the course of the film. Like even when, you know, Tarzan was like, or sorry, John, cause he was still like proper. When John was like, oh, you can't come. It's too dangerous. She was like, oh, I'm coming. I'm going, we're, we're doing this together. Like you're not leaving me behind. And he knew like he had to just give in and let her come. But. Right. I feel like she was she was really strong, but then there were points where she did play like the damsel in distress too. She did kind of play both sides of it. She knew how to work it. Yeah, I mean, it's Margot Robbie. Right, exactly. <laughs> My favorite scene was when he was fighting Chief Mabanga okay. out in the water. Mm -hmm. And then you have just all the gorillas come down and circle Tarzan, kind of like, you want to get through him, you're going to have to get through us first. Mm -hmm. And like it brought you that sense of family that he used to have with them, that bond. Mm -hmm. And they were there to protect him even after, you know, 10 years later. I thought that was so cool. Yeah, actually talking about like the connection and the way that they were together, I felt like Jean, when she went to the African Congo and started to talk to all the people in that scene, mm -hmm. there was such like chemistry and such a connection and you felt like they really did have this strong history. Right, they were family. Yeah, it was so beautiful to see that. I love Margot Robbie. She played a good Jane. I thought she was really, really good. It's Samuel Jackson. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought you were gonna say Christopher Waltz. No, I. Yeah, it, it was close. It was a close mm -hmm. tie, but I just, just, I love the bond that he had with Tarzan. Mm -hmm. You know, kind of like he knew he was doing the wrong thing when he was starting out, but now it's more of backing Tarzan up and having his back. And they created this friendship, you know, almost like family together. Cause like, even towards the end, he does the thing with the hug. He's like, you weren't expecting a hug, were you? <laughs> and they just hug it out anyway. I thought that was so sweet. I'm gonna say stream it. Okay. Because it, it wasn't, even though it was a little drawn out, and a little outdated by now. You know, it, it still kind of holds up, but I don't know enough to fit with the rest of my movie collection. All right, so you've changed my opinion. Because you guys, originally, I was like a one and done. So I was somewhere in the middle of stream it and drown it in butter, because it doesn't need to be drowned in butter, but I wasn't going to stream it again. And I was like, oh, I'll just one and done it in the middle. But talking about it and learning about the reasons why you love it, I actually think I'm going to stream it again. Join us next week for a discussion on Queen Bees. Until next time. <laughs> I love you. Ah! <laughs>